Good morning, friends and fellow traders. It's Friday. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options coming to you with the morning market preparation video for the last day of August, 8 31, 2018. So, everyone, I hope, I honestly hope a lot of you aren't even listening to this message this morning. I'm hoping you've exercised your privilege of the trader's lifestyle and you have already packed up and left for the weekend. <laughs> I suspect today could be a little bit, um, well, we could see some, uh, you know, flurries of activities during the day, particularly if the trade agreement with Canada happens to get announced today. If that does get completed, we could see a flurry of activity. But keep in mind that a lot of trading desks will be empty today, that there will be a lot of folks extending their um, Labor Day weekend and having a, um, a great time uh, enjoying the last days of summer. So officially the last days of summer. Um, so if, if you are listening, um, just realize that there's a very good chance that we could have a, um, after the morning rush, you know, we get this morning rush out of the way, we could see a lot of, um, light volumes, choppy price action today. Um, so hopefully you've kind of, um, taken some of those profits this week, uh, trimmed some of those positions, reduced your risk of the week to the weekend. And remember we have, um, the, the threat of a $200 billion tariff, uh, being levied against China next week. That will certainly be on the minds of the, uh, those in the market. And um, don't be surprised also if we see, you know, even though the price action could be light and choppy, don't be surprised to see um, some profit taking uh, today as folks do trim that risk um, heading into the weekend. You know, as CEOs of our business, we have the privilege of taking days off. And today might just be one of those days when it would be a good idea to just shut down your computer, set your stop losses, um, or, or adjust your portfolio, and just head out for the weekend because there's likely not going to be uh, too many good reasons to be here unless you're a very fast intraday trader. Let's take a look at um, the diamonds here. You can see the diamonds got a nice little pullback yesterday. Only about half a percent um, overall. But you can see we are getting that little bit of a pullback. And this morning right now, we're looking at just a slight gap down. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of surprised that it's only uh, uh, this much, about 50 points at the moment. I'm actually kind of surprised that it, it's not more considering the fact that Asian markets and European markets are lower across the board um, this morning. So we'll want to um, watch this carefully because it could pick up. It could also be that the bulls are holding on, hoping hoping for uh, that uh, agreement with Canada to perk up some activity. So they may be kind of hanging in there for a while. But remember, there's nothing wrong with this chart at all. Even the pullback is not a problem as long as we hold above this price support and maybe even key off of this trend, uh, downtrend here or the uptrend here and hold in this area, we should be in good shape for potential upside. So that's what we, we need to focus on is that holding above that support right now would be um, a, a good positive for the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, same situation and actually a better situation just simply because um, it is um, above its uh, trend line here and holding up nicely. So you can see we were all time highs. So even a little break, a uh, pullback would not be uh, harmful to the overall pattern. So watch that uh, carefully. It could uh, actually turn out to be a really good opportunity to set up um, buying uh, next week if we hold um, those support levels. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues just remained, even though we had the selling in the SPY and the, um, and the diamonds, 
yesterday. Those cues were just really tenacious yesterday, barely pulling back, leaving a little bit of a shooting star pattern, which is, of course, a bearish uh, pattern, but it requires follow through. So the cues must follow through to the downside and close to the downside for that really to be a valid pattern. And at this point, you know, those bulls have been very, very tenacious and there's no reason to believe that they're going to bail on uh, this uh, strong bullish sentiment that they've had here in the NASDAQ. But also keep in mind that a pullback into here to test the, the breakout high is not out of the question and would actually be a pretty healthy move for the market to make. Let's take a look at IWM. <clears throat> IWM um, was the leader that broke us out and moved us higher um, in the market. And you can see all we're doing here in IWM is just a little bit of rest. Just kind of chopping sideways. And this morning, not a lot of activity or um, not a lot of downside, at least yet, showing up in IWM. A little bit of a pullback maybe here um, at the open. But just keep in mind that um, IWM has very little exposure to tariff problems being completely a domestic um, uh, type index with those small caps. So kind of keep that in mind. IWM may fare pretty well even if a big tariff is levied against China next week. Let's take a look at VIX. The VIX yesterday saw that little spike in fear uh, with the news of the tariff um, things coming out. Um, we got that little spike in fear. And it's possible this inverted head and shoulders pattern that I mentioned yesterday could actually be in play. Now, let's keep in mind, let's let's hope that this doesn't get out of hand. E even if we rally up into here, you can see this area has served as resistance before. And even if we rally on the VIX with a little bit of fear coming into the market, heading into the weekend, Hopefully that will hold and we don't end up with some kind of big fear spike um, or a big disaster coming here in the market. Don't see that right now. Just watch that fear could be increasing here just a little bit and a little bit of caution should be exercised. If we take a look at T21, oops. T2122, that four-week new high, new low ratio. You can see yesterday's pullback did a really good job of moving us back down here to the middle of this range. So once again, this chart did do its job. It gave us those warnings when we were up here at that upper level to start being a little bit cautious, to start taking some of those profits. Now we have plenty of room that we can go up or down in here. And we need to watch that carefully. We've got um, plenty of space to go either direction. And we could see those flurries throughout the day <clears throat> push us around, depending on how the, the news uh, continues to roll out on the trade agreement with, with uh, Canada and the rumblings of the tariffs for next week with China. Let's, um, oops. Go. Take a look at our economic calendar here this morning. If we look at our economic calendar, there's not a whole lot on here today. We have a couple of reports that could move us around, but not until 945. And you can see Chicago PMI. They're expecting that to edge up slightly, just be a, a tiny increase in the Chicago PMI. And Oh, excuse me, um, just a tiny decrease in the Chicago PMI. It's been extremely strong. So um, a little pullback, a little tiny pullback is what they're looking at, um, would not be uh, probably a market moving event. And consumer se sentiment is expected to increase just slightly today. So kind of keep that in mind. Just a little bit of moving around here on these economic reports, but unlikely that they will be very market moving today if they uh, tend to stay in those ranges the in very bullish ranges that they're in right now um, and then we have all these bond settlements uh, today and the Baker Hughes rig count 
to wind up August uh, and kind of close out these uh, final days of, of the official summer. Let's um, take a peek here. The earnings calendar is a very light day today. There are only five companies reporting earnings today. And probably one of the bigger, um, I guess, is big. Big reports, um, it's scheduled to report at, uh, well, excuse me, it was scheduled to report at 5 a.m. this morning. And it has, and you can see, a major gap down here in big. They must have missed uh, pretty badly. And we also have um, RENN today and Ruby. And you can see in these charts, they're not going to be the kind of charts um, uh, that are going to move the market around today. Most of these are uh, the micro caps that are reporting today. Um, so don't expect much for earnings to move things around. So kind of keep that in mind. With that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And I honestly uh, hope that you're not listening to this. I Hopefully you're already off on uh, your uh, Labor Day holiday vacation. Everyone take care. Be very, very safe. We'll see you all back here bright and early Monday morning. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click those subscribe buttons on Facebook and YouTube. Um, click those thumbs up buttons. Drop me a comment. Um, I always appreciate those. And also always feel free to share these videos with any friends and family. Everyone have a wonderful, wonderful uh, Labor Day holiday. And we'll talk to you all soon. Soon Monday, uh, excuse me, not Monday morning. Tuesday morning. We have a Monday off. Everyone take care. We'll talk to you soon.